Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm on the road again, but today is doing one of the things that I absolutely love to do, which is fix things. And I'm doing something I've never touched before, which is a pool lift. You know, it's a, it's a handicapped lift, it lifts the people in and out of the pool. It's a unique device, but because it's in a humid environment and because of the, the nature of electronics around water, they have to be maintained probably every six months, if not maybe more. But I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with this pool lift linear actuator because it is what the problem is with this particular device. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, I'm gonna get my handy dandy little screwdriver here. So one of the things I want you guys to realize is this linear actuator does have some pitting. Now it's nice and shiny and everything because I cleaned off a, a lot of the pitting that was on there. You can see that. Um, I cleaned it off and I put a layer of grease on there. So the grease also helps loosen up the rust. So I'm gonna let that sit on there for a minute. These uh, Linac linear uh, actuators, you can see they got these clips. They go around the perimeter of the shell. All you gotta do is pop these clips off, the little flat blade screwdriver, and you can get into the guts. Now the symptoms for this particular device were that it would go up, but it wouldn't go down. Well, one of the things that you guys should know is that all linear actuators have limit switches. And take a look right here. They've got this one and this one, and I don't think they're labeled, but I can tell you for a fact that this one right here is not actuated. So that's the down switch. And this one here is in a constant depressed condition. So what I've got to do is right here, you can see that it's kind of stuck. So I got to take off these Allen fasteners right here, separate the clam right here and clean out whatever's not causing this little uh, detector to slide up and down. Now, if you notice, there's not very much room for error. You can see this one here and this one here, they're really close. There's like one and a half millimeters worth of travel. So there's not very much detection travel on this linear actuator so guys this is fixable but I'm probably gonna price out the part regardless um, I will get it back up and going probably um, but I'm also gonna clean off all this extra rust which is why I'm out here in this noisy parking lot because I don't want to clean off a bunch of rust and stuff there next to the pool so I'm gonna go ahead and do my absolute best separate the clamshell right here clean it up, wire brush it down there, clean it up, and it should be functional. Hopefully there's nothing broke when I separate this clamshell. We'll find out in just a minute. All right, guys, well, <clears throat> I tried separating the clamshell here, and as you can imagine, it's pressed together, and there's a lot of dry seals in there, so that exactly didn't happen. But I was able to remove the little um, detector right here. I was able to pull it up, and there is a little tiny actuation piece right here. You can see it, it barely sticks up and this piece kind of pops into it. But I was able to get some lubricant down inside there and it goes down the shaft. And I don't know how far down, but I was able to inject some lubricant in there. And there's a viewing window right here that gets you down into the gears and down to that shaft detect. And I was able to get some lubricant down in there and I was able to unfreeze it so now it does move and now I just have to take it inside, hook it up and make sure that it does detect top and bottom. So these two micro switches work. That's your um, up detect and low detect. And so far it looks like it's good. Uh, I was able to clean up a lot of the stuff that was on here using metal scrapers. You can see that there's still some remnants. It's never gonna be back to normal. There is some light pitting on there. Uh, a lot of that debris was able to scrape off, but I still am gonna try and get them to replace this in general because it's just old showing its age, but the wear and tear on it over the years, you know, there's I can't undo that. But I think I will get them back up and going right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish putting this clamshell together I'm gonna take it inside, wipe it down. It's got extra grease on there right now, which is why it's got that dark uh, hue to it. But I'll wipe it off and make sure that it's completely functioning and see how the pool lift works. So guys, 
that goes to show you if they go in one direction and not the other there are limit switches inside all linear actuators okay so basically you have a motor here that has <clears throat> a crown gear or it's going to have a helical gear and then that will actuate on a screw which drives it in and out so there's a lot of mechanical advantage on this guy because it is a gear to a screw um, but they are prone to wear and tear and as we can see here it's just getting old so guys uh, I've managed to move over a couple of parking spots into the shade and it's still Texas and it's still hot out I hope you guys all have a wonderful day